Hey, shalom, my gum. Y'all watching me on Shah, watching me on Kakadash, Brakadom. Hey, just want to come back, you know, with another lesson through the Spirit Power. Y'all watching me on Shah. You know, and as always, you know, Lord will be edifying to the Lord's elect. But uh, before I jump into anything or get any further, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakudash, the blind city elders, and the apostles of great millstone that rule and teach well. And much peace, safety, and blessings unto the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing truth, and sincerity, and intelligence. All right, uh, it's Brother Loyal from the Great Mill Lake Charles, Louisiana camp. All right, coming with another lesson, as you can see, entitled um, uh, A Prayer over, 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 for Victory Over the Enemies. All right, Prayer for Victory Over the Enemies. All right, we must continue to be found praying uh, to Yahweh Shemia Shai so that he can uh, bring forth, you know, this great uh, destruction, this great desolation. Okay, now looking into uh, Psalms, the 20th chapter. You know, with King David, you know, it's a beautiful song, all right, because what King David puts the vibration that we ultimately should be in, all right, a righteously, uh, righteous vibration, a vibration to where, where we're seeking, uh, found, walking after the Lord's ways, you know, and wanting total righteousness, okay? So this is Psalm chapter 20 and verse 1. It says, a psalm of David, to the chief musician, a psalm of David, the most high Yahweh hear thee in, in the day of trouble. The name of the power of Jacob defended thee. You see? The name, man. All right, it's a piece of ball. Let me get that real quick. In the book of uh, Proverbs. Proverbs 18. Okay. This is Proverbs 18 and 10. It says, The name of the Most High Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and it's safe. You see? Just showing how, how much power it is within the names, man. You see, that's why... You know, it's beautiful that the Lord had uh, uh, given uh, his name unto us. He had revealed his name back unto us in these latter times. Okay. Let me get this in the NLT. It says, in times of trouble, may the Lord, Yahweh, answer your cry. And the scriptures speak about how the Lord always hearing the, uh, the cries of the righteous. It says what the prayers of the uh, righteous pierced it through the clouds. Okay. So this is another reason why we shouldn't doubt. All right. For the simple fact, hey, why not? You know. Why? Why not us? You see? Why not us? Why, hey man? Don't don't let Satan, you know, get into your uh, your mind and try to, you know, get you to uh, 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 depart away from your how about Shimmy Alshai? Okay. Don't let your faith sink. Okay. It says what if if you faint and uh let me get that. It says thy strength. Let me get that real quick. If you uh faint no day of adversity. This is Proverbs 24, 10. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is, for, is small. You see? And we're not subject to fainting, man. We're subject to what being rooted within the faith. All right? Trusting in Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshua with all boldness, man. All right? It says, may the name of the power of Jacob. Hey, the power of Jacob. The name of the power of Jacob. And we're connected to the source. All right? It says, keep you safe from all harm. You see? And that's exactly what Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is, is, is doing, man, and has been doing as well, you know, that he may keep us from all harm. Real quick, let me get this in a book of Psalms. Uh, let me see. This is Psalms 105. And uh, verse 15. And we'll, start up, we'll start at verse 12. It says, when they were but a few men in number... Yea, very few and strangers in it, when they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes. You see? Saying, touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm, man. All right? And, and the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah here today, and what? The Lord is making sure that what? Nothing evil befalls them. Okay? Now, yeah, we catch hell because ultimately what? It has to be a righteous balance. Okay, yeah, we catch hell, you know, we go through, you know, uh, uh, these trials, you know, and fight things so that where we can ultimately increase our faith to where, where we won't be moved. All right. But at the end of the day, hey, amen, uh, uh, we walk after, you know, the heart of Yahweh Shimei Al-Shai, you know, so the Lord is going to make sure that we're always good. Okay, we hey, we must keep in mind that where we are the apple of Yahweh Shimei Al-Shai's eye. Okay, let me see real quick. So back in Psalms 20, this is Psalms 22, it says, send thee help from the sanctuary 
and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice. And that's why it's always beautiful to, for us to be found doing, you know, because in the times of trouble, you don't want, you know, your faith to sink. You know, you don't want to uh, uh, fall in doubt as if, you know, uh, you haven't been doing enough for you. How about Shimei al -Shai? All right. Hey, may you, how about Shimei al -Shai? Remember all of our offerings, all of our sacrifice, you know, everything that we've done. Okay. That's why we always send up the prayer. Hey, he's a core of my, you're upon you, like the boy, I'll come to Wawa, you know. Hey, hey, remember us, you how about Shimei al -Shai? Remember us. You see? Verse 4, it says, grant thee according to thine own heart. Yep. Grant thee according to thy own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. What does the scripture speak about that? How the Lord desire. He says, I, 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 my desire is to give you an expected. Let's see. It's Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Most High Yahweh, the thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. You see? We will, we will we're able to understand the scriptures and uh, measure the time diligently and be found doing so that what in the end the Lord may exalt us man the Lord may uh, uh, lift us up from this lower state you know and give us the desires of uh, our our hearts you know but it's the Lord's desire to what deck us out it's the Lord's desire to deliver us all right these are his words okay it says what uh give Give, give, grant thee according to thine own heart, you know, and the Lord, the Lord is going to make sure that we're always good and protected. Okay. Let me get this real quick. This is Ezekiel uh, 11. This is Ezekiel chapter 11. And, uh, let's see. Verse 16. Yep. Verse 16, Ezekiel 11 and 16. Therefore, saith thus said the Most High, Yahweh Power, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Therefore, say, thus said the Lord Power, Yahweh, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries. Where ye have been scattered, and I will give you the land Israel, and they shall come thither, and they shall take away all the detestable things thereof, and all the abominations thereof from thence, and I will give you, so like, and I will give them one heart, and I will put a new spirit within you, and I will take the stony heart out of their flesh, and will give them an heart of flesh. That they may walk in my statutes and keep my ordinances and do them, and they shall be my people, and I will be their power. You see? And that's ultimately going to be uh, fully done with the new covenant. All right? Having what? Uh, these new bodies and having uh, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding within our inward parts. Okay? As it speaks about in Jeremiah 31. Okay? But yeah, man, we, we must understand, you know, the times that we're in. And knowing that we will suffer affliction, but what we're subject to to praying to you, how about Shimei Al Shai, man? Okay, so that what uh, we we can uh, be delivered, you know, in all situations. Okay, verse five it says, "We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of our power we will set up our banners. The Most High Yahweh fulfill." All thy petitions. Yep. Anything that we, hey, the scriptures speak about us casting all our care upon the Lord, man. All right. Now, if we doing, you know, everything, you know, uh, that the Lord requires and commands of us, hey, why wouldn't he come through for us? All right. It was prophesied way from the beginning. All right. That the Lord would hear, you know, the Lord would hear our cry, man, in the latter times. Okay. The Lord said, well, he will raise up his prophets and where we will remember ourselves and we will remember uh, and start to call back upon his names, you know, once again. Okay. Verse six, it says, now know that now know I that the most high Yahweh save it, his anointed. You see, he will hear him from his holy heaven with the saying, with the saving strength of his right hand. And that saving strength from his right hand is going to be who? Yahweh Shai, man. All right. It says as a key point right here, some trust in chariots and some in horses. Right, a carnal matters. All right, 
As it speaks about in the book of Isaiah, the 30th chapter, they take upon this covering of Esau, Edom, but which is no covering. You know, some trust in the, uh, the horses, you know, going into what their power structure, but they fail to realize that all power is given and taken from Yahweh Shem Shah. You know, it's the heavenly father that have uh, what given the heathen the power that they have today, but it's going to be taken away. You see, it says, but we will remember the name of our Lord, Yahweh, our power. This is what we are going to be doing. All right. So you, they can trust in, you know, uh, uh, going and vote and, and, and the, the politics It's all BS, you know, but at the end of the day, even when it comes to guns and things of that nature, anything that's cornered to where you can use it to get up out of, out of, out of a situation, you know, it's not to be uh, trusted, fully trusted, man. All right. We're supposed to fully trust in Yahweh by Shemiah Al Shah. All right. And that's why it says that. But we, right, the believers, those that have been anointed, those that have uh, been uh, uh, receivers of the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Al Shah and woken up, it says we will remember the, the name of our, <sighs> hey, the, we will remember the name of the Lord Yahweh, our power. See, our power comes from Yahweh by Shemiah Al Shah, not guns, not money. Right, not none of these corner things that's ultimately going to be destroyed. Okay, it says they are bought down and fallen. See, so as we get to pray, as we get to uh call upon Yahweh Hashem Yahshua to bring forth this destruction, right? It says they are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright, man. You see, so it's a great role reversal, even when it comes to you know in any enemies, man. You know, hey, let Yahweh Hashem Yahshua deal with it. Okay. Verse 9, it says, save. Hey. <laughs> Verse 9 says, save, Yahweh. Let the king hear us when we call and we pray to have, uh, um, how we say it, uh, not a remembered, but a familiar, okay? We pray to have a familiar voice within the heavens. You know, whenever we call upon Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshua, Lord willing, he, he hear us, you know? Because we desire, man, we desire to, to see this devil fall, okay? Which And which we will, man, all right? Because think about it. Who, who else is calling upon Yahweh Bashim Yahshah to do such a great thing in the earth? You know, who else is crying out for righteousness sake? You know, no one uh, outside of the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, all right? This is Revelation chapter 12 and verse 10. You know, I'm going to start at, uh, yeah, yeah, 10. I'm gonna start at nine. And the great dragon was cast out was cast out. That old serpent, that old serpent from Genesis 3, Esau Edom, it says, called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. Or this word deceiver should be Diablos. You see? Showing you exactly who it is. Yep. Right on point. Prone to slander, slanderous, accusing falsely. Yep. Uh, applied to a man who, by opposing the cause of the Most High, may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him. You see? And as Esau Edom, man, it says, who which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Going into uh, uh, the leadership, all right? It says, verse 10, and, and I heard, a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength in the king. So everything that we've been praying for <laughs> is going to be revealed. All right. It's going to be made manifest. And I heard a, a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our power. The same power which we called the born. Yahweh by Shimei al -Shai. It says in the power of his anointed or, or his, yeah, his, his anointed. Right. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. This devil, Esau Edom, which accused them before our power day and night. Because this devil is subject. Hey man, he's been uh, uh, ultimately affording the affliction for the things that he established in the earth. Right. And he, he has a mentality. This devil has a mentality to, to, to basically uh, play the victim, you know, <laughs> Which that's that's not so, okay? He, he uh, set up all all types of wicked, uh, uh deeds, wicked uh, recreational things for Jake to uh, ultimately be entertained in, you know. 
And then when it's all said and done, after Jake, after Jake get off, he, he, he asks himself, well, he didn't do no wrong, you know. Well, yeah, you for the affliction of the Israelites. Verse 11, it says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb, right? So we're going to be able to overcome this devil and overcome this wicked uh, uh, system and not take the MOTB, all right? Not fall victim to uh, any traps that this devil have because what? We're covered by the blood of Yahweh Shai, okay? It says, and by the word of their testimony, and by the word of their testimony, and they love, hey, the word of our testimony is in Revelation 19 and 10. Having what? The spirit of prophecy. Okay? Because as long as uh, we keep on harping upon the prophecies, you know, and watching out for the times, hey, we, we know exactly what season we're in, man. We understand that Yahweh Bashim Shai hey, is about to come through with that destruction that we are praying for. Okay? Which has already been written. All right? Revelations 12 and 11, it says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto death. You see? Let it be known that what uh, the elect are going to endure, you know? The elect are going to endure, you know? Even if we have to become mortarous, we understand that what? We will be uh, risen back up, you know, through the spirit of power Yahweh by Shimei al -Shai. You see? So, yeah, man, Yahweh by Shimei al -Shai is coming with a mighty hand to save. We must continue to pray, you know, for the destruction of, of this, this wicked present kingdom you know the lord said what uh, uh cast ye all your care upon me all right it says what well, seek you the kingdom first and all things should be added unto you you know the prayers uh, of the righteous pierced through the uh, through the clouds man whoever trusted in your how about shimmy shy was confounded you know uh, i've never seen the righteous uh, uh begging bread off a of sucking just roughly paraphrasing you see so a key thing that we must constantly pray for is to, that the Lord destroy this wicked kingdom and, and uh, what uh, take this heathen, take the heathen out of the power seat, you know, and remember us, you know, remember that we are that nation that he uh, ultimately declared to be the righteous nation uh, above everyone in the earth, you know, we're the ones that's going out on the highways and hedges, you know, uh, professing his name once again, which is his, is, is his, of his spirit that working within us. You know, it's his spirit that working with us, within us to do these things. All right. So through Yahweh Bashim Shai, we're able to pull down the strongholds of this place, man. So brothers, continue to pray and hey, hey, continue to stay diligent, you know, and be found doing. All right. Yahweh Bashim Shai hey, will continue to hear us, man. And, hey, this, this devil is soon to be taken out of that power seat. All right. So with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. We'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, double line to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, they rule and teach well, and much peace, safety, and blessings unto the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing his truth and sincerity and in diligence. Till next time, Shalom.